and you're going to put two stakes in the ground, 23 feet under the water to be able to be at that zone for the fish to tune your line counter. Hi, this is Matt from Cast King. I want to talk to you about line counters. And I can talk to you about all line counters. And what I mean by that is, is that when you get a line counter, it's been calibrated by that company for a specific line type, a specific diameter, so that when you're letting out the line, if you're letting out 100 feet, you got 100 feet. And that's no different with the Casking Recon line counter. However, in the fishing industry, that's just not reality. The reality isn't that we're going to use a specific line type always with a specific diameter. So it's very important for those of you that need to have that bait out, let's say 100 feet to get it down exactly 23 feet under the water to be able to be at that zone for the fish to tune your line counter. I don't care what brand you have, you have to tune your line counters. So how do we do that? Well, it's in the middle of winter here, so I'm going to show it up this way. As an example, types and diameters. You're looking at casking as a new fluorocarbon. That's definitely going to have a different diameter than their braid line or even their mono. So it's important, once again, that we tune these line counters so that we know when we're letting out 100 feet, 120 feet, whatever we need to let out, that it's accurate so that we're putting that bait exactly on the fish. So how do we do it? Well, first of all, you're going to go out and you're going to put two stakes in the ground. And those two stakes in the ground here, you're going to measure, with a tape measure, you're going to measure exactly 100 feet. Next thing we're going to do, fill up that spool. Fill it up. If you can, don't cut off the, the filler spool from it. Because if we have to add line through this process, you're going to want to have that line on there. Now, if you didn't, if you've had someone else put some line on, if you only got X amount uh, that you purchased, you can always add on. Um, if you're out there fishing and the fish snaps off that line, uh, once again, you're going to have to add on. So we're doing a simple uni knot. We'll add on to it. Not a big problem, but we're going to have to tune it again. So we've got our line on. We've got our spool with the extra line still not cut off, right? So we keep that off to the side. Then we bring the tip of our rod to our first stake that's in the ground, right? When it's there, we're going to zero out our line counter. We're going to walk the pole back to our first 100-foot stake. Here's where it gets kind of tricky. Not that it's so tricky. It's just sometimes it's, it seems to me when I first heard that it was like a little backwards, right? But it works. It does work. If your line counter, when you get back here, is showing anything under 100 feet. Anything under 100 feet. In the example here, I believe we got it at 90 feet. We have to take line off the line counter. I know, it seems backwards. Anything when we come back here, anything under 100, we have to take line off the spool, right? So we're going to have to take line off the spool. If we zero out here, we bring it back to our first post, and it's anything over 100, now we have to add line to the spool. So over 100 add, under 100 take off. Which is, believe me, if you've already, if you saw that spool on there, uh, if you have, if you turn out to where it's over 100 and you have to add to it, you'll be glad you did. One less knot in the system. Um, but there you have it. And no matter what brand you have, tune your line counters for every new line that you put on. And before you go out in the season, you know what, as a pro tip, um, tune it. Put some new line on and get her tuned in before you go out there. So there you have it. Uh, I'm Matt from Casking, and hopefully I made you have a, a better fishing day. And uh, you know what? Fish on. Bye now.